Hello guys, I'm back for part 3 of BMG Drive editing and tutorial. Today we're going to be working on the terrain and how to paint the terrain and stuff like that. You might be thinking it looks a little different. I accidentally changed the texture and I can't get the other one back right now. But just ignore the green. So I guess uh, let's just head into it. Go ahead and open up your world editor. Now you should see a ground plane if you go to your scene. You should see a ground plane. Now what ground planes are, are they are infinite in every direction. So if you want a map that's ginormous, then just have a ground plane. But you cannot edit the uh, like the terrain. You can't have mountains or anything like that. So if you click on the ground plane, you can either rename it or you go down and hit material. Hit this little button right here and you just pick from any of the materials that are already in here. So if we want like a nice grass texture, just head, go ahead and select grass and now it's all grass like. Might be a little big, but it's okay. So you can always just make this square size, make it like 16 if you want. Hit enter and then the terrain looks a little bit better. Very simple, easy. But for this tutorial, we're not going to be using ground planes because you can't adjust the mount, you can't put mountains in it. So go ahead and select the ground plane and delete it. Then what you want to do is go over to this little paintbrush here, or hit F3, and it'll say, "Do you want to create a new terrain?" Hit yes. Go ahead and name your terrain uh, similar to your level name. I'm just going to name it tutorial. Um, Tutorial terrain. Uh, just go ahead and select uh, warning material. Resolution, you can go up to 2048. If you want to go higher than 2048, you have to edit that in the uh, you have to edit in the if you want higher than 2048, you have to edit it in the uh, files. We're just going to stick with the small version because I'm just testing stuff out. So once you go ahead and do that, the once you go ahead and do that, you, you have like a grid that looks similar to what you had before. Just raise this all the way up close to where your plane was before. Right about there. And then you want it this is the max height right here so it depends on how high you want your map to go and just kind of explains different things make sure it says can save on go ahead and hit file save and if you have to you have to exit the editor so hit F11 whenever you do that it creates the closing collision text boxes or <laughs> whenever you hit F11 it creates the collision type boxes go ahead and hit control C and now you should be able to unpause your physics and drive on it and if you're wondering where that sound came from is I'm in the newer version of BMG drive they just had an update so they added glass sound effects So if you saw there, you saw like a little problem right there where our truck spawns in the ground and we don't want that to happen. So go ahead and back your truck up a little bit. Hit J to pause physics. Control C, F11 to go back into the editor. Now you're going to see like these little green looking things. You're going to want to select that and just raise it up so the little point of the diamond is out of the ground. Just do this for both of them. Try to get them really close to similar. Try to get them really close and similar uh, positions. Go ahead and file save again. F11, you know that. Unpause physics. Go ahead and hit restart. And now you should. Now, the next time you spawn in, you won't spawn in in the ground like this. <laughs> um, 
and if you know if you notice those little blue things, if I hold control, there's like nodes now. It's in the new version, and I can just drag it. It's kind of cool. Like you can just drag your car around. It's pretty awesome, I think. I mean, you can just like dent your car. Like if I want to lift up the hood, I just like peel the hood up. It's really awesome. I'm looking forward to what seeing what they're gonna do with this. It's like just rip off my hood. It's like ragdoll physics now. It's awesome. Oh, there goes my door. What a shame. But you can just kinda like move it around. Anyway, sorry about that. Get back to the actual tutorial. So go ahead and hit F11 again. And you're going to want to go into your terrain painter. Now, it's like a brush right here. So go ahead go ahead and hit new material. And just choose a random, I don't know, we'll do, we'll just do uh, rock or something. So then you just begin painting like this right here. See, you just paint, and that's how you make a texture. You just paint along, and you just keep on painting. I'm not gonna paint mine right now because I do. I normally do that at the end, but I just wanted to show you real quick. So now go to the little mountain button. The first button is the terrain grab feature. Now what this does is you just grab and then you can go move your mouse up or down to change the, what the terrain looks like. So you can make like a little bowl. Second one and the third one, they just let you raise and lower the terrain height. So if I want to make like a little mountain area over here, just go ahead and uh, fill this in. Smooth it down a little bit, make it a little bumpy like that it doesn't look very good right now but what you do is you take the little smooth tool it's the fourth one down and you just kinda of smooth it out might be a little hard to see but you smooth it out like that and then if you go down to this paint noise feature it paints like mountains and if you wanna make your pressure a little lower you take the pressure right here and just kind of lower it down softness that's how uh, like if I raise it up see how it's a little like it's smooth transitions but if I move the softness all the way down to one or something then it's not as soft so there you go that's a simple way to make some make some mountains you can also go down, so if you want to make like a river or a lake or something, you can just move the terrain down a little bit like this. Always move the pressure up if you want it to go a little higher. So you see how you have a little corner now? Just kind of flatten it around. Maybe take the smooth tool again, smooth it out a little bit. And then this little slope tool. It's the fifth one down. It just kind of evens out the slopes, if that makes sense. It takes like the middle and just kind of evens them out. It's useful when you're creating like roads and stuff. Flatten just basically cuts in and takes the exact middle of whatever you're doing. So if we want like a little shelf here, then we can do that. This is also a good way to make some roads. So then we can just take our flatten tool move our pressure up a little bit go back over those little bumps that we just made and now it's pretty flat smooth transition the set height you just set your height right here and it automatically adjusts to that height so you can make like a peninsula or something like that we're not going to do that for right now the clear terrain, it just deletes your terrain. I'm not sure what this does, but it just basically deletes your terrain. And then the other one just puts it back. I just, I'm just, i not sure what that does, but you can do that. Now, all you have to do to 
make an ocean is go back into your object editor go to library go to level environment and you'll see a water plane button double click that uh, we'll just name it ocean base color I'll just leave it there create new and you'll get this humongous humongous ocean like thing just go ahead and drag it down to the level you want so I want it to be about there because if you see over here just adjust the camera speed make it go real faster now we have a nice little ocean here we're kinda surrounded by ocean looks kinda cool I'll put it a little bit lower there we go so now we have a nice little ocean there hit file save go back to meshes and that's where you import all your little uh, static buildings and stuff so now all we have to do is just build up our terrain and you'll be ready to go but if you do want to paint your mountains let's say you just want to paint your mountains just rock if you try to go in and like just paint the mountains the way you want it's not gonna look very good so instead of doing that very painful like all you have to do is go up to the slope mask and change it to about 45 on the low end and 90 at the top end and now when you go over your mountains it will only paint that slope that you set so now it kinda looks like that you can just paint your whole map like that I don't think there's anything else there's a little over there go ahead and hit new uh, new th the material and we're just gonna paint the rest of the we're just gonna paint the rest of it grass number two hit apply and select change your slope mask to zero and the high end 45 and now when you paint it'll just paint the stuff that you didn't paint before so we'll just continue to paint here just like this just continue to paint our whole map this, this does take a while to do, but eventually you'll get the hang of it. Now let's say we want some sand. So we just uh, select the beach sand. I don't know why I have two of them. You shouldn't have two of them, but my textures are messed up for some reason. Hit apply and select. And then I'll just go and paint some sand in here. Like this. Just trying to make it where the water is. You can always use the brush slope thing. So if I go to make it like zero and make the max three, make the max four. Oh, that's weird. I'll just keep it at uh, 90. My textures are messed up, so I don't know why the green is showing up there. But you shouldn't have that issue. But yeah, so it's very simple and easy to use. And now we already have a decent looking map going on. Hopefully I helped you. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment below. Bye!